Alright then, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII New Threat. I don't even have to menu this time before starting up the recording because we're just going to run straight into Junin and play a bunch of mini games probably. Then hopefully Genova Life at the end, or whatever it was renamed to. So, mini game number one, jump up on the dolphin. Well, now I know how to... I'm pretty sure you just press a button at some point, right? Press select, and then when you get to a... Oh, do I have to actually maneuver into a certain place? Try here. Nope. Let's go a little bit farther than before. Nope. Yeah. Just keep inching forward and eventually you'll get it. Or just align with that pipe like I did there. Easy enough. Not that I'll remember that for next time, but... And here we see something we're not gonna get any use out of for another two discs. Oh, another one disc more like it but so now I know how to get like 20 feet in the air in a jiffy just like find a dolphin blow a whistle it'll it'll work out little guy I guess I... Okay, I can't go down this hallway at all. Uh, dang it, I didn't mean to go that way. Okay, Sergeant. I better turn down the volume. Nope. <laughs> Glad to have the moral support, guys. You guys are the best. What, Sega Chief? Too lazy to put in the voice acting? <laughs> do your gun press OK. Okay, so basically just uh, get in step and then start pressing OK, I think. This is so weird because you only get like one shot to do it and you don't get a chance to do any real practice. I'm just going to run back in and save for this moment, or if I can do that at least. Otherwise, I might have to restart a little bit more than this. Yeah, I'm suspecting I'm going to need to restart a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, never mind. I thought that cutscene was letting me know that I was already outside, but apparently not. Um, this way is what again? This is the elevator back to Jenin. Or at least Lower Genin, or whatever it's called. The fishing place with the dolphin. Dang, it's amazing how small the high wind is compared to that cannon. Sheesh. I never really noticed that before. <laughs> 
just exactly how enormous that thing is. Maybe it's your fault for letting a wanted criminal join your parade? Hello, doggy. I'll do this first, rather than look in any of the shops right now. Somehow, every squad is missing a person. Um, I suppose I'll just wait until the next group goes by so that before I clear this text box. So otherwise, I think the rating goes down. Oh, it's not gonna let me have a chance to move yet. Okay. Alright, I think I probably got it. Um, I'm hoping Ether Times 6 is the top prize. Even if it's not, it's still a pretty solid prize. And they said it was going to be expensive, so... I'm not sure how I shot the TV ratings up that much, but... Just by trying to do the same thing as everybody else, but... I won't complain. Oh, so in other words, the rest of the game takes three months. For all we know, from the amount of time that passes during the game, it could take like a day or two. It's kind of hard to tell in a Final Fantasy game how much time is actually passing most of the time. I just remembered to unplug my uh, my cab my charge cable there because otherwise the noises start getting weird. And when I phrase it like that, it sounds like the noises are in my head or something, but... <laughs> Jerk. I bet that did one damage. probably doesn't even care that they died. He's just annoyed at the insult. This is also, this is actually far more irritating than the other minigame. Because it tells me to use buttons that I don't remember half the time. I think I got that one right. Alright, that one's... Switches select, it's the one that throws me off the most. Far better than the disaster I had last time I tried this, so far, at least. Last time even during the training I was like, spinning around doing lots of weird things that and nothing to do with what the other two were doing. Alright. Um, I'll probably go and do the stuff here in Junin, and then go back to the save point before heading on to Rufus. Forget about your job. Pretty sure that's a good way to get fired.
Okay, I can buy more sense, but I don't see why I'd ever want to do that. Seal. That's something I don't have, so I definitely gotta get one. Seal seems like the sort of thing that I'm not gonna want more than one of. Revive might be something that I want more than one of. Having more people with the ability to cast life too. But at the same time, it's also eats up a materia slot. I think I'll check what else I have my to spend my money on before I commit to that. Um nothing else in here. Sometimes it's hard to tell with these weird Junin buildings. Whoops. Uh wasn't sure what that was for a second. Okay, so, here's a weapon for a Strength Cloud. Really, this is more of a Tank Cloud weapon, uh, but presumably it would be used from the front. I think that's- I'm not sure if that's stronger than his Buster Sword. No, it's not. It's not stronger than his Buster Sword, but... Vitality and Spirit plus 15 isn't really anything to sneeze at. I've also got magic and luck plus 10. Not really what I want for Tifa. I forget what weapon she has right now. Atomic Scissors. That's a front row weapon for Barret, and it also increases magic and luck. That's really not what I want for Barret. Um, neither the front row-ness or the magic plus luck. Like, the difference in attack isn't even that great in return for being in the front. Striking Staff. See, that's actually pretty solid. Like, those stat boosts are nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. I might want one of those. Vitality and Dexterity plus 15. I think I could definitely go for one of these two. And magic plus 10 on the boomerang. I don't think I'll go for that. I, I want to use a physical UV. I forget what red actually has right now. Is it just the draining? Because that's gonna come less in handy as the game goes on. Whereas vitality and dexterity are things I definitely want for him. And I'm also gonna get this striking staff. Honestly, for a short period of time, it could almost make her a front row fighter, especially considering, like, the Atomic Scissors bring Barrett up to 25, but it brings her up to 41. It really just makes up for her low strength. Actually, it probably doesn't even do that. How is the tech calculated? It's just, If it's just weapon power plus strength, it's not really enough. Unless I was specifically dumping SP into her strength stat. But those stat boosts are probably too much to pass up. So I'm gonna buy one of these as well. And I also probably need to save money for Costa Del Sol, so... I'm probably not gonna buy that revive material either way, not yet at least. Yeah, this place is mostly just for flavor. It doesn't help me out at all. It's building number three. Let's see what's inside door number four. It's the item shop, I think. Which I still feel alright with. I may want more echo drops. Because... I'm just gonna buy a handful more of these things. Those will get less expensive as the game goes on, but I want to have a little bit of freedom to use them now without worrying about running out. Who said that? Is that the guy over here? Oh, here's the... Here's the know-it-all place with the extra fights that are here, but I can't probably can't participate right now. Oh, uh, th this is just a place where I can get to the tutorial again, but I don't care. 
Um, and this, this is the new thing that was added for new threat, which is the battle arena thing here. The Junin Leagues, that's what they were called. But I can't really do that yet because I'm just Cloud and I'm too weak, so whatever. Meow! Sinker. Those things change row, don't they? Change party row. So I'm assuming they change the entire party's row, not just the one character, because otherwise they'd be kind of trash. I'm pretty sure Sega Chief originally had a note in there saying indispensable or something like that. And we also have dazers, which inflict stop, I think. I mean, that's what they did in vanilla, but I don't know what they do here. Inflicts paralysis, or maybe they inflicted paralysis in vanilla, I don't really know. Huh, I didn't even see that, I was just trying to talk to the guy. Spiderweb is also pretty solid, and I get an Earth Drum too. I wish it was a bird wing. <laughs> I'd love to have another one of those things. At least Earth Drums are pretty good against bosses, just in general, because a lot of them are heavy, partly to prevent gravity from working on them, and to be thematic with that, but. Obviously they wouldn't have worked on Bottom Swell because he's flying. I'm sure there'll be a boss or two in the future that I'll... In fact, I bet Genova... The Genova I'm gonna fight soon is going to be weak to it. What's down here? Hello, guy. Oh yes, yeah, so that's the route to that dungeon, but I don't need to go there yet. I'm definitely not going to use this very slow transportation here. The president can keep that garbage. <laughs> so she said you guys. Does that imply that she knows that I'm actually Cloud and part of Avalanche, or is that just supposed to refer to the soldiers keep messing around? I don't know. It's still really cheap, even if he's not trying to cover it for me. I also have a save point right here, which I think I'll use, even though it's pointless because I'll just use it again before the minigame starts, but you know, it's a thought that counts. Huh, it's another Materia shop. So I already have three of all of these, like I want, so I'm definitely not going to buy more. I don't know what's in Costa del Sol in terms of material. In mater materia, sorry. Hybrid Brace. That's basically the last thing I want. Um. I almost want to get one just for the sake of getting one, but it's not very good for boss fights in particular. This is exactly the sort of thing I would have given Cloud last time when I was trying to use him as a hybrid, but this time around I'm completely ditching that uh, thought, so... But yeah, there's no way I'm going to spend a 3000 gil on that thing. I would much rather buy the Revive Materia if I was going to choose one of the two. Wait, who on earth am I talking to? Am I still talking to him? Oh, okay. Not sure I was talking to him from there. Speed drink. There's a lot of trash lying around this place. <laughs> I 
Wow, that was tiny. But I'll take it. Look, guy, some people have it worse than you, you know. So Molotov is fire damage that inflicts slow. Interesting. So it's basically just a better spider silk, I suppose. I'm sure I'll find a use for it somewhere. Slow plus damage. I mean, why wouldn't I want to use that? Oh, this is also a weapon shop, isn't it? With two captures just in case you go the wrong way. Yeah, this is just to give you a chance to buy the stuff you had before. So yeah, the Mithril Claw is what I have on Tifa right now, and I'd much rather have that than a magic boost. Cannonball. Isn't that a front row weapon as well? It actually has better stat boosts than the more modern front row weapon, even though it's cheaper. Assuming the atomic scissors are also front row, which I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, so I've got a defensive staff for Aerith in the full metal staff, but I've also got an offensive staff with dexterity and luck. I wouldn't say it's entirely offensive, but it just depends on what I need at the moment. Alright, let's start up this minigame and see if I can do as well in the real thing as I did in training. I mean, with training I knew what order they would be spouting the commands in, I think, but... The fact that I was facing the wrong direction didn't murder me there. Yeah, it's hard to say much during the minigame because I've got to concentrate. Rune armlet. I suspect that the... Dramatic irony. I think the rune armlet's the best thing I can get. I don't think I get the force stealer here anymore. That's what I ascertained last time. I ended up tr taking a lot of attempts at this game to try and get a good score because I was worried I was missing out on the sword, but I think you just get it later. Considering it's a piece of equipment that I don't already have at this point, it gives me some amount of confidence that... So let's see what this actually does. It prevents silence and a huge amount of magic defense, so this is basically the Black Mage armor. But it's also got some defense too, like... Maybe not great defenses for this point, but it definitely competes with a lot of my... It out-competes a lot of my, like, standard gear. 
This also has double growth, which is useful. I'll have to keep that in mind as well. But I don't think Genova life... Sorry, Genova birth is... Uh, magic base. I think it's more physical base, at least in vanilla, so I don't want it on right now. Plus it gives no stat boost. So it also... It also really depends on whether I want the silence protection or not. <laughs> Those lines are definitely added by Sega. Well, I have my fancy new rune armlet. Now it's time to set sail. Probably fighting the next boss by the end of this episode and grabbing a whole whack more chests as if I haven't grabbed enough already that just for free. Uh, how do I get to this one? Oh, right here. So I have a 7th ether to top off a stash that I've gotten. Um, did I actually use a tr Yes, I did, apparently. <laughs> Doesn't really help me at all. Since Yuffie's in the way, I can't actually get to that materia. I suppose I have to come back for that later. I actually can, because this is a new threat, not vanilla, where you're going to die horribly. This isn't an alternate way to the materia. Dang it, I'll have to actually try to use my brain and remember it. I tend to be absent-minded and forget stuff like that, so I'll try not to... sure this is just a uh, in and disguise which I don't really need right now <laughs> yep completely foolproof So wait, how do I trigger this guy leaving again? Let's try talking to Iris again. I don't know. She said something about Garish. Maybe that means that... Yeah, this guy's gone now. Okay. guy shouting his head off that he's going to kill the president. Uh, maybe they found that guy. I, 
I love how the seaman just backs up when uh, they ask who's going to go to check out Sephiroth. Like, uh, nope, definitely not me. I'm not with you guys. <laughs> I can totally pick her if I want. I really have my pick of the litter with the rest of them. Uh, I think I'll choose it. Iris right now. Okay, so I suppose I'm, I'm I suppose I'm just gonna cut some of that out. Um. So yeah, no real changes to their loadout. Really just the obvious stuff right now, and all the characters are boosting speed for the moment. Because I can get a heaping helping of speed from the armor I have without sacrificing too much among the way of my defenses. So I've got Earth Magic on Cloud. Uh, Earth Magic on Iris. And Earth Elemental on Kalioka. Because I'm pretty sure Genova can be hurt by the Earth Element pretty hard. And... So I have Time Magic on Kalioka, because that'll be a pretty huge MP loss to cast this. She's also the fastest, so she can set it up right away. And... Um, she also appreciates a small Vitality boost. Elemental Earth, obviously. The magic defense isn't even really lost from this setup because Kalioka already had zero. Um, counter attack, heal as usual, just to uh, get that MP put to some sort of use. And I've also got cover counter and morph, which I don't expect to be super useful here, but the, again, the magic defense bonus. The drawback doesn't really matter. The luck drawback isn't huge, so it's really just an extra vitality and dexterity boost for her, and that is very nice. On Iris, I have Destruct, because this was the place to put it. Um, enemy skill, just in case Genova has something. I don't expect to use it when I have her weakness, but... We've got Earth. Shiva to inflict slow, because I don't think I have that with the time material yet. No, I don't. So I would otherwise need added effect or a spider web. So might as well just drop Shiva on her at the start, and that'll be that. Hopefully she doesn't cast haste or remove the slow somehow. It's kind of a drop to her max HP and max MP, but hopefully it'll be livable. Also got seal just to level it, and because all the stat boosts are positive, so why not? I don't really have anything else I could use with her that would be very useful. Both Cloud and Iris have Restore so that they can both heal, and Osmos, because she'll probably run through MP faster, because Cloud will be stealing, and Iris will be casting Shiva, so she's going to be the one needing the MP. We've got Earth, Steel, partly for that Dexterity boost, because he's the slowest. Not that any of them are super slow right now. We've got Revive, because it fit. Um... Sense, Restore, and bar my Classic Barrier all, because that's always going to be pretty important. So, that's the setup. Hopefully things go well. Hopefully there aren't any unexpected tricks. Now let's grab that Materia before I forget. It's just an all materia, so nothing that'll change up my setup at all. And I've already got plenty of those, so... Yeah, stop talking to that guy and climb the darn ladder. So there are battles in this particular room. I don't remember at all what there is. For some reason, these Shinra guys are attacking me. Hey, maybe I'll get some use out of this E-skill after all. Pretty solid non-elemental damage, and I don't have any poison, so... Elemental Earth isn't going to do a darn thing to these guys. And let's hit this guy with the Cross Slash. Arguably a waste to do this before the... Before the boss fight. Ah, it missed. There's that Shinra Beta coming in handy. It's an evasive piece of armor. Let's 
nature magic them again. Actually, I should probably save that for the boss fight. Let's just hit this guy with morph. That obviously didn't kill, but I hadn't sensed him yet, so I didn't know what else I could do. 83. I think Eris can probably hit him. Actually, I'll probably hit another encounter before the boss fight. Nope. She's gonna counterattack him to death. Well, that sucks. I'll have Iris heal because she's the one who can restore her MP. Nice, that was a full reheal in one shot. Alright, let's go around and get this whatever it is. Even more enemies in this fight, dang. Ugh, I might as well use this. This fight will take a while, so... No sense in trying to save it. I'll probably get half her bar up again anyway. Nice. That was a good dodge. He's not even equipping a Shinra beta. That does, like, a thousand damage in a single shot. I may even want to cast Barrier just for the sake of this encounter. I think I'll hit the eye is it probably has the lowest defenses. Ugh. It's also got some evasion too, apparently, or else I just got really unlucky. Um, what should I sense out of these guys? Pretty sure Kalioko will kill these guys in one shot. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, she kind of needs the healing, so I'm just gonna drop it now. I'll hit him with Cloud this time, because Cloud's probably a bit strong than Maris. Not a lot, but... Dang it. Another miss. I'm not gonna get a lar large chance to morph these guys, so... I kinda have to take the opportunity while it's here. Nice, that's pretty good. One shot from Cloud and one shot from Maris. Puts them in range, basically. Please don't hit Kalioka. No, I'm good. Shrapnel. Is that just a physical... shoot damage? Okay, so it's just some minor damage. I'm just gonna whack him with Eris. Alright, let's sense this guy. He's probably easier to try and morph because he doesn't have evasions. Well, he's pretty close. Most of my damage thus far has been magical, so this guy's probably still doing okay on HP. 106. It's gonna suck if I die in this boss fight. Don't counter. Oh, come on. Stop countering at times when I don't want you to. Yep, she's gonna counter again. Mystic it, though, apparently. Dang it, that was too much. Whatever, I got one thing. It wasn't very good. I don't think the shrapnel is all that worthwhile, all things considered. Wind Slash. 
Okay, this is a wind elemental uh, weapon here. But I don't want wind elemental, I want earth elemental, so... Alright, let's see if I can get down to Genova before I get another encounter. Good. Cool. He doesn't look very okay. To kill random people in a ship? This was your master plan? Oh, here we go. Let's see how this goes for me. Wow, I'm not even at full HP. Maybe I should have done that. Alright, let's drop Shive on him right away on her right away. And then we're gonna haste. Kalioka. Hopefully this does inflict slow. I, I don't think it's like a percent chance to inflict slow. I think it just inflicts slow, but... Corner 45 damage. Doesn't look like she's slow. Ouch, that was some damage. And she absorbed it, too. Nice dodge, Cloud. Weak against Earth, like I thought. Also weak against Holy. So I could technically use Restore plus Elemental if I didn't want to use the Earth Elemental. That actually might be the better idea, but... Eh, whatever. I'm gonna haste Cloud. So that he can get his chance to steal, hopefully. Nothing to steal. Alright. Got an Osmos. Then we haste Cyrus, and then we're in pretty good condition. Oh yeah, right, I really need to put up my barrier, I'm stupid. Bacteriophage. Does that hit everyone? Yeah. Though emphasis is not on hit, apparently. Uh-oh. I better not die from this. Okay, he didn't. Thankfully, with Kalioka's perfect dodge on, that didn't hit her the second time around. And now I don't get any counters, that's for sure. Uh, now let's use Grease Lightning, and Cloud can do the healing. Oh, he recharged his ATP faster than I expected. Yeah, so now it looks like uh, she's on slow. The pulsing of that thingamajig, whatever it is, seems to be a bit slower now. Um, let's just use Osmos, because I don't want to have to do it later. And also buys me time to get off a cross slash. Whoa, is she out of MP now? Oh, uh, that's not too big a deal. It might even help me. Let's just keep firing off attacks. I don't think I'm gonna bother with the menu trick at this moment. Nucleic laser. These dodges are really coming in handy. She's still got perfect evasion, so not hitting her. Alright, now let's menu trick a bit. I'll save Varys' turn because she, she's probably going to attack again. Nope, apparently not. I suspect there was a nothing in her script there.
Transducer. Another crazy attack name. So I can't actually heal her without... with Cure without losing her perfect dodge, huh? Maybe I'll just use a potion then. Cause that'll save me turns in the long run. And it's only a potion. Oh, she's on slow too. She must have been slowed there. Because there's no way Kalioka would be being outsped by the other two people in this team. Almost might be a good idea not to do this and not speed up the countdown, assuming it gets sped up in this game. But I'm pretty sure I'll kill her before time runs out. I'm firing off a lot of damage pretty quick here. Yet again, haste plus slow is a pretty big deal. Vector Storm. This hits everyone. Nice double attack. For some reason she didn't dodge that, even though Cloud did. What's up with Cloud dodging all these attacks? I guess I'll be saving Healing Wind a little bit longer. Hang on one second. I gotta plug my laptop back in because I'm running out of power. Oh, I gotta put up my barriers again. That's bad too because uh, now I've gotta put them up one at a time. Or I could just try and finish the fight. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for the kill. Setting up the barriers is gonna net me more damage than just attacking. Oh shoot. I'm gonna have to try to revive Kalioka, I think. Um, let's just use a phoenix down. She might just die from this, but... Alright, let's wait and make sure Jenova doesn't attack. Alright, input that command. Okay, that's it. I'd prefer Kalioka also gets the EXP. I remember. Carrier. What? Alright, this EXP basically just gets me over the hump into the next level, but that's a pretty solid chunk. I also get a white cape, a significant amount of gill, enough to buy stuff in Casa del Sol, and whatever a white cape does. <laughs> well, that was a pretty straightforward fight, all things considered. Don't leave yet. I still have a materia to pick up. So Ifrit. This is Berserk. It can be useful, but it's not nearly as nice as, say, Confuse most of the time. Because the enemies still get to attack. So now we get to see the white cape. Magic plus 5, luck plus 30. Prevents frog plus mini. So again, it's kind of something you'd want to equip to, mostly for the status effects protection, I think.
but it's also got uh, much better bonuses than the safety bit. So if I was ever going to equip that thing for the stat bonuses, I'm not going to. Um, I hope I don't get another battle on the way out of this room. So yeah, I think that's it. I think there's nothing else to do here. We just gotta run back. Well, now it's time for more cutscenes. Since my laptop just almost ran out of power, I know that we're basically about at the stopping point here, because otherwise the recording will have annoying noises in it for longer than it should. That boat is clearly missing the dock. Or maybe it's not supposed to go in the center portion, I don't know. Alright, I'm not going to talk to everyone around here yet, because I'm just going to go and trigger another cutscene, apparently. Forgot this one. Time for Heidegger to get all punchy again. Whoa, that guy went flying. See, the other Shinra manager back at the hotel was complaining about not having a five-star hotel. At least he didn't eat a five-star fist to the face. President isn't even gone yet, he's already starting to punch people. Do to do, goodbye. Huh, there's a safe point right in town for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why. I'm pretty sure I can just leave and save out there, but. Might as well save in here. See you next time. <laughs>